today I'm at Cardi Mill Valley in Shropshire, uh, which has got some beautiful walks. And the one I'm going to do today is the Light Spoke Waterfall Walk. Uh, I wanted to do it again um, while the kids are at school. Um, the last time we came, there'd been a drought, so the waterfall was more of a drip than a waterfall. So hopefully there's some lovely English weather today, which means that we might get a little bit more of a waterfall. Um, but this place is beautiful from the minute you park up. There's little streams running around. And to be honest, you could just stop here, have a picnic and be done with it. Seems to be some ponies quite close to the cars today. <laughs> We're at the Cardinal Valley car park and we're going to take the green route up to Lightspout Waterfall. Should take about 40 minutes from here. There's a really nice National Trust cafe just here and this is where the toilets are also. The great thing about National Trust is that there's loads of signs, you can't really get lost. Stick to the paths, follow the arrows, and you'll be there in no time. The thing I love most about this one is the fact that there's water pretty much all the way, obviously because you're following a waterfall, and it just sounds beautiful, listen to it. Is there anything more calming than water? It's brightened up a bit as well, so hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine. It's at this point that the path splits off, so we want to follow it to the left. 
to the light spoke waterfall. Should take about 20 minutes from here, so we're about halfway. It's at this point where the terrain gets a little bit tougher, so if it's wet, be careful. There's lots of slippery rocks, as you can see. So just watch your step. You don't want any injuries. is peaking. There is some blue sky ahead. Just watch where I walk in so I don't fall down there. There's robins everywhere today. They keep fluttering by. I'm not sure you can see him, but he's just on that rock over there. Nearly there, the waterfall's just in the distance there. We're here. I can't really think of a better particular spot. You can go up and over the waterfall and carry on round this big loop, but I prefer to come back the way we came because you get to see that view. And it's just as beautiful as the way up. Spotted somebody walking from this ridge. Um, and I want to head up there. What a beautiful view. I love it up here. On another day, I will see where this path leads, but I'm gonna head back down. One thing you do spot lots of around here is the sheep. And um, three little sheep seem to be enjoying the play. Oh, maybe not enjoying the play. I always try and keep my distance from grazing animals. Don't want to disturb them. These three sheep seem to have noticed my camera and as a result are heading off.
actually starting to rain, so I'm going to head inside for a cup of tea. Had a fab time, lovely walk. It's just started raining, so perfectly timed. Got a cup of tea. <laughs> I've eaten a scone. A very good Friday. If you do want to come to Cardi Melt um, and you're a National Trust member, remember to bring your cards. The car park's free. It does get really busy on a weekend or in school holidays. So get here early. <laughs> But it's a lovely walk. There's plenty of places to have picnics with the kids. Um, or just bring your dog. It's got something for everyone really. 